India wrapped up their eighth consecutive bilateral ODI series win as they thrashed Sri Lanka by eight wickets in the series decider at Vishakhapatnam. Winning the toss, Rohit Sharma invited the visitors to bat first, and at one stage Sri Lanka were going well before Kuldeep Yadav got the freely scoring Upul Taranga for 95, which triggered a Sri Lankan collapse. The visitors lost their last eight wickets for just 55 runs and were bundled out for 2-1-5 without even playing their full quota of 50 overs. Wrist spinners Yadav and Yuzvendra Chahal were impressive and both of them picked up three wickets apiece. In reply, India lost Rohit Sharma early, but a 135-run partnership between Shikhar Dhawan and Shreya Sayer, followed by Dhawan's 12th ODI century, helped India achieve their target with just a little less than 18 overs to spare. The Indian unbeaten 100 of just 85 balls in the ODI series decided against Sri Lanka at Vishakhapatnam, dashing India open as Shikhar Dhawan also achieved a personal milestone. Playing his 95th innings, the player of the series went past 4,000 runs and in the process became the sixth fastest player to do so in ODIs. He is also the second fastest India player after Virat Kohli to achieve this feat. Australia will feel they are close to regaining the Ashes after yet another fruitful day in the third Ashes test at Perth. The hosts lost their skipper Stephen Smith and all-rounder Mitchell Marsh early on day four, but wicketkeeper Tim Payne along with fast bowler Pat Cummins helped the Aussies gain a lead of 259 runs at the end of the first innings. With a huge deficit to cover, England's top order once again was under the gun as they lost Alistair Cook, Mark Stoneman and Captain Joe Root cheaply. After James Vince was dismissed by a ripper from Mitchell Stark for 55, first-inning centurions David Malan and Johnny Besto saw England through to 132 for four before rain ended the day's play. Pakistan fast bowler Mohammad Amir insists the new 10-over format being piloted in Sharjah will have a positive effect on his bowling skills. Amir also further stated that T10 is a high-pressure format and doing well by bowling 12 balls per game will make a bowler feel less pressure in T20 cricket. Amir, who played for Maratha Arabians in the recently concluded T10 league at Sharjah, was also the first player to be picked in the tournament's player draft.